Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching. This is uh, another tutorial of the box. So I am not going to take this box off. If you've already seen this one go up today, I'm going to leave it there. There's nothing wrong with it, but I just, I don't know, I'm one of these people that if I'm not 100% with something, it really bothers me, it really bugs me. And I knew that there was still another way to put this together. And I thought about it and I've come up with another way. So it's more of a deconstructed way. So once you see this one, then you can decide whether you want to make this style or the other one. They're both exactly the same size. I'm just putting them together differently. Um, and it's not that I couldn't sleep, but it's just something that was really bugging me. So I will link up the original one but I just want to put together this one. Now I'm going to use this for something else, but um, yeah, so this is to fit the teacup and saucer. And um, yeah, I just think this is going to be an even easier way for people. So the papers I'm using are these Craft Sensations Mix and Match. Mix and match. This is the light textures, it's beautiful. And it's just all different kind of wood textured backgrounds. So you've got like, although that's a hessian there, but you've got, you know, floorboard, decking, more wood effect there. They're just really lovely for backgrounds and stuff, but I thought this would make another nice um, gift box. So what you're gonna need is pretty much all the same stuff in terms of the cardstock. It's the acetate that I'm doing differently. So the actual reinforced lid, you want a piece that is nine and five eighths of an inch squared. For the base, you want a piece that is seven and a half inches squared. And then for your sides, you want four pieces that are one by six. Okay. Just check that because that one looked like it was a little bit shorter. Yeah, one by six, they're fine. Okay, so, and then you need four pieces. Sorry, this is the bit I changed. So four pieces that are six by five and five eighths. Okay. And that's of the acetate. And you want a strong acetate. Again, I'll link in... Um, my blog. So I haven't actually done the blog for that one yet either because I was still thinking no there's got to be a better way. Okay so with your lid, so this is the seven and a half by seven and a half piece, you just want to score at one inch on both sides, on all four sides. So one inch, one inch, one inch and one. Okay and then with your lid here this is, this is the nine and five eighths of an inch squared you want to score at one inch and then two inches and then I'm concerned as well that some people might be pulling cardstock out further than one person to the next so if you just grab some cardstock this is the same that I'm using here but what weight let me just see what weight this is uh, 250 GSM okay so that's a 250 GSM I've just folded it in half then with this cardstock butt it right up into the corner then put this into the corner okay so we've just scored at one and two and now we're doing this then remove the cardstock and you should have a little bit of your scoreboard revealed there okay make sure it's straight I think it's my cardstock that's just a bit crooked all right, and that's pulled it out enough for us to then be able to carry on scoring and for your lid to sit over the top of the box. So now don't move that. Make sure you've got that little gap there and you want to score at seven and three quarters and eight and three quarters. Okay, then rotate the cardstock, butt it right up into the corner again. Score at one and two. Again, with that piece of cardstock, pop it in there and butt it right up. I did have a little green piece that I used to use for this and then I've misplaced it and that's why I think I've stopped doing it. So again, butt that right up into the corner. I haven't cut this cardstock straight, that's why mine's the way it is. Anyway, take that out. Again, you'll have a nice gap there and then carry on scoring at seven and three quarters and eight and three quarters. Okay, so keep the same piece, just like, I don't know, keep it in your little pot or something and use it for whenever you're doing those kind of things. And then with these four pieces here, you just want to score along the one inch side, you want to score at half an inch. So just right down through the middle. Okay, so just fold them all and burnish. And then we'll fold and burnish all of these score lines. So at the moment, both the videos are the same. It's just the difference is I've used this little bit of cardstock here, um, which I didn't use in the other one. And I just think, you know, you're all going to do it differently and then that could result in, in significant differences with your lid when you go to put it on. So if you use the cardstock, I just think it's a bit better. 
um, and I just think putting the acetate on is going to be much easier as well so this is the perfectionist in me this is the bit <laughs> some would say it's a a bad trait because I guess sometimes um, yeah I won't put something out there if I'm not 100% with it um, and I was really kind of thinking should I put this one out should I not I'm not sure but anyway here we go you've got two to choose from so this is your base that platform so you're going to just cut down the score lines here cut down this score line to this first one and cut down this one to that one so you're just removing or you know um, making little tabs in the four corners there and then that one like so and then just take little wedges off like that okay and then I'm just going to use some of my wet glue and just pop a splodge on the tab bring the tab in and bring that around and just make sure that you get a really nice corner I think I sound like a broken record sometimes because I say the same thing but as I always say as well there's always someone new watching so again pop some glue on bring that tab down and bring round another side so you're creating the platform so I'm just going to do these two here so there we have it so it's going to be that way up because this is going to be our platform then while we've got this one as well, we do our lid. So it's the same, pretty much the same way we're cutting it, but this time you're gonna have obviously two score lines. So as with the base there, you just have one, this one you have two. So you want to cut down in each of your corners, it's hard to see on this paper, but there will be four small squares. So you wanna cut down the score lines of those four squares. Okay, so you'll have like that and like that. And you can see here what we've got all right so you can see where I've cut this one you want to remove completely and then you just want to remove that one so you're left with this one tab and then these two score lines two score lines there okay see what I've got do that again on the other side here so cut down and cut down remove the two squares and remove the top square so that's what you should have the tab. So it'll look exactly the same as the base, this, these tabs here, but you'll have these two pieces here because that's what's reinforced. That's going to fold in on that. Flip the whole thing around so it's facing away from you and just cut that exactly the same. And just go around taking little wedges off of all of those sides. Okay, so that's now what you should have. All right, so you've got four tabs, and then you should have two side pieces and then the base. So you can see there they fold in. All right, and then you're going to just stick it the same way. So again, pop some glue on your tab, bring it round, and bring that one down. So you should have these pieces kind of loose at the moment. And then Again, pop some glue and just go around and stick all of those tabs in. Okay, so that's what you have. And then I just kind of fold them out back on themselves like so. And you just want to pop a bit of glue just on the top one and then fold it in and stick that down. And that's what will reinforce the lid like so. So just do that on the other sides. Okay, so now you'll have a lid and a base. The base should sit inside there because you can see how that lid is going to sit over the top. Okay. Next, it's on to the acetate and the base. So the smaller one, so the one that sits inside, all right, not the one that you just made. And what we're going to do, because what I've done in the other tutorial is you had kind of two pieces like this, two sides all together, and you were wrapping it around. And... I, um, you know lots of you will be fine doing it but I just can't help thinking that it can be made much easier and I think this is going to be much better so what you want to do is run some tape along each side you can run it all the way around which I still may do actually 
Now I'm going to concentrate on more towards the bottom but as I said in the other tutorial if you haven't got a red tape, because this red tape is pretty much invisible so you won't really see it at all, if you've got a tape that is quite visible then you can cover the sides here with um, some decorative dies like some um, edger dies or you might want to wrap some ribbon around here okay so see what it's like like I said do watch both tutorials because there's great little tips and stuff in both of them but you want to go around here and just make sure that you've got no air bubbles at all so I'm just going around there and just pop it on its side and just really go over it it does slide around a little bit but you do want to make sure that that is really stuck down because then that makes it you know more invisible to see um, once we put the acetate over the top okay and then I'm going to find one of my ends so again this is all pretty much the same as the other one it's just the acetate I've done in four separate pieces as opposed to two um, and I think it's a lot a lot easier to manage um, so I may take that other video down I'm not sure yet we shall see Okay, so just peel off one bit and then kind of just fold it back on that side. So just work your way around. Now you want to make sure that you are sticking along the five and five eighths of an inch side. So it's the slightly smaller size because I have had I have made this obviously to fit that teacup and saucer. So this is the five and five eighths and this is the six inch side. So this is our height. So you want to make sure that you're sticking the right piece down. And basically you're just going to sit this right over oh make sure it's the right way up <laughs> i almost done that in the other one you want to be the base is this open part okay this is actually what you see inside so make sure you're sticking your acetate the right way and it will line up perfectly with the length of that and you want to make sure that it runs nice and flush with the bottom okay they actually need to be five and a half oh my gosh i'm really not focusing at all let me just trim this one I'll put a little note up there but this actually needs to be I thought why is it overhanging and it shouldn't be okay just again make sure the air bubbles are out look you can hardly see that tape and then go around to the next one so this is what I mean by it being much much easier to do this bit by bit rather than kind of wrapping it around as you go it's much much easier to work with the acetate when it's separate like this okay you just want to make sure that obviously they're lining up at the top because then what's going to happen is, is these little corners which are obviously now working as hinges are going to stick down so again it looks exactly the same as the other box but it's just constructed slightly different so again I'm going to peel that one off and just line these up and if you're a little bit out on the sides and stuff it's not the end of the world because those hinges cover up so much stuff so take the last one off and lie that one down then pop it on its side and just go in and just really make sure that that's all stuck down and you've got all the air bubbles out like so so this is what you'll have now is these all flapping whereas in the other one it was all together Okay, then just get some tape and stick it on the insides here. Just I'm just concentrating on the outer edges. This is from Every Crafts a Pound. You get 23 rolls for £10. I've been buying it for some years now and I love it. It's brilliant. And for me it's, well, I think the best one out there in terms of, um, you know, being almost invisible. And it's very, very strong. So most of the red tape brands are. That's, you know, why they are. Um, they don't tear, you can't rip these ones, you have to cut them. And um, they're a bit thicker, and like I said, they're just very strong. So, yeah, I'll share the links to that once I put this block together, and I'm happy <laughs> with the final box. So, just popping tape on all of these. Again, just go over, making sure you got all the air bubbles out. And then you just want to pop each one on, do it one by one. So, just take off the backing paper there. And I'm just going to even one piece of acetate at a time. So I've just got this piece first. I'm going to start from the bottom and make sure that's nice and flush. There. Oh, I might do it this upside this way actually because I'm just thinking, you know, find a way that works best for you in terms of attaching it. Um, I might work on this angle actually. Yeah, that feels better. 
So I'm going to work with it facing me. And then you want to make sure that you get it right in side there. And then you can go around to the other side, which should just be a matter now of just holding it in place, like so. Okay, and there you'll see you've got one of your corners. So go around to the case. There's the next one, just taking off all the backing. And again, focus on the bottom and kind of just run that up, making sure that each corner sits perfectly in the score line of the hinge. Okay, and then what you can do is go inside as well and just make sure that all of your tape stuck down. So just do that on the other corners. Okay, so there's that one. I think that is so much easier to put together. And then your lid will fit perfectly on top. So there you go. So you know, that was, apart from me ed editing out really, sticking down the tape and stuff, that was done in real time, so it's, I think it's much quicker and easier. And you've got a lovely display box there. So, yeah, have a play around, have a look at both the tutorials. I might end up taking down the other one and just keeping this one up. And then what I just done is, with my teacup, is I put some glue dots on the bottom and I actually attached it inside. Let me open this one up just so you can see. Just finished it with some nice ribbon and inside there you can see the teacup is stuck down. I thought this was nicer to have it permanently in there so it is that display box look that I was going for. Enjoy the chocolates, the tea bag um, and that kind of stuff. And obviously you can put anything in here so you can display other things. It doesn't have to be that teacup and saucer. And um, yeah, I just... Um, I think this is better guys so let me know your thoughts um, like I said I'm not sure whether to take the other one down or leave it up and people can try that one it's just I don't want people to kind of get frustrated with the acetate because it can be very cumbersome and I think if you break it down into those four pieces it works much better so there you have it anyway <laughs> I'm done with it now I'm not doing any more um, and I'll be back again next week with another tutorial thanks for watching bye